The man with the cane crooked, crooked his finger on the trigger. Achi stepped in front of Atomi, shielding her with his body. If you want to shoot her, you have to shoot me too. Suddenly, the assassin's head jerked forward. He pitched face first onto the pavement and lay still, revealing a foreign man standing behind him. What's up, dude? On one hand, the stranger clutched the metal pipe. It's Tommy, Achi asked. You know that guy? Tommy's eyes went wide. That's the man from the scramble. The one who told me to go to the van. Wait, one of the kidnappers? Why would he help us? I'm not sure. Newcomer fixed his eyes on Achi. Hey man, Achi approached the stranger. I'm not sure what's going on here, but thanks for the assist. <laughs> Whoa! The man took a sudden swing with his pipe. Achi barely managed to dodge out of the way. What the hell? Once again, Achi made sure Tommy was safely behind him. Guess I gotta let my fist do the talking. Achi quickly adopted a fighting stance. Be careful, Tommy warned, her voice trembling. Don't worry, it's just a pipe. I'll just snatch it away from him and make him tell us where we're your sister is. Achi judged the distance between them carefully as he stared his opponent down. The metal pipe gave it this thug considerable reach. One solid hit from that thing and Achi wouldn't stand a chance. We need to end this in one punch. The crook sized them up for a few moments and lunged forward to attack. Now! Achi sidestepped to avoid the incoming blow then delivered a vicious left hook to his adversary's jaw. The man went down hard. Achi gazed at his fallen foe, glassing his knuckles. The thing about guys who bring weapons to fight is they always let themselves get too cocky. He looked the guy over, the man had a tattoo peeking from one of his ratty sleeves. Come on buddy, can't clock out just yet, Achi said. Get up, I've got a few questions for you. He knelt down to grab the man by his collar. <laughs> Halfway to his feet, the man pulled the gun from his breast pocket. Whoa, didn't know you were packing heat. Aichi took a quick step backward. The man's eyes brimmed with rage. He looked ready to pull the trigger at any moment, but he didn't get the chance. The man with the cane had regained consciousness back on his feet. He trained his own gun on the foreigner. The foreigner quickly shifted his attention to the other gunman. Oh no you don't! Aichi darted forward and kicked the kidnapper in the hand as hard as he could. The gun went flying from his grasp. With a low snarl, the man took up the metal pipe again. Now then go for Achi, however, he charged the man with a cane. What the? Achi watched and stopped him as the two men grappled. Now's our chance! Rubbing his tummy with the hand, Achi broke into a run. They ran for a long time, finally stopping to rest in a quiet municipal park. As they sat catching their breath, Achi sensed a new tension in Atomi. She hadn't said a word since their light has escaped. <whistles> she has to die, Achi, it's for your own good. In his mind, Achi replayed what the man with the cane had said. So, Atomi, Achi hesitated. What would happen back there? Yeah? Sound like she'd been far gone in her own thoughts. You gotta believe me, I have no idea who that guy was. Never seen him before in my life. He must have been saying that stuff to confuse us, to trip us up. Yeah, tell me, said again. So that's what's been bothering you? Huh? Now it was Achi's turn to go monosyllabic. Well, Achi, you're kind of famous around Shibuya, right? I don't know about that. Way back when, you've been the leader of SOS. Nowadays, he was just some guy who picked up trash. That was nothing to brag about. When someone's famous, it's not unusual for someone else to organize them and know their name. See, I was surprised back there, but no matter what that man may have said, I trust you. I mean, look at how many times you put yourself in danger to protect me. Tell me sounded pretty resolute. Archie was glad that she believed him, but that raised another question. Son, how come you've been so quiet? Just been thinking about things. Like what that man from the scramble might be after. It was true that his actions didn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, he seemed more interested in taking out the man with the cane than going after you. Maybe this bad one, maybe it was a case of mistaken identity. Uh, bad blood. Maybe there's blood blood between them. I should add a little chuckle. If we're lucky, maybe they'll take each other up for us. He 
felt a rush of relief reassured that Atomi didn't doubt his motives. Regardless, though, we, we had to track down that blue van. The sound of a child's cry came from behind them. Oh, what happened? Oh my god, that is not a go! Oh. <clears throat> Turning to look, they saw the kidnapper rushing toward them. He had knocked over a little girl who was in his way. Ow! Oh. No rest for the Ruri, she sighed. But again, he and Tommy sprinted away. Do you think he took out the guy with the cane? Tommy's words came between panting huffs. Maybe? Achi glanced back at the pursuer. What? There was someone else with him? Now they were being chased down by two foreigners. I like this better when we were just running from one guy with a cane. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, Achi was confident he could keep Tommy safe. One-on-two, -on -two, though, that was a different story. One guy might get a hold of her while he was facing up against the other. You gotta make sure they lost those creeps no matter what. Keep out! Oh boy! Strike! Two! Wow, this, this, this hour is going great. <laughs> I got a bad end.